took out the indomitable Smurf. And she beat Moustacher, too. Oh. All the right. Moustacher got taken down. All right, so Burby dittos. We're going to see. Ooh, all right, so she didn't necessarily um, take it. vertical superiority the um, first, but could use the forward air to kind of clip Kirby and bring it down. The eye. Yeah, you got to follow up with them. I don't know if Yolio really has that quick movement off the plats. Should we start calling him Yolo Leo? Yolo Leo. Yolo Leo. Han Yolo. Or does he have to earn that title by Yoloing more? Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I wish I could hear you. Yeah, yeah. It's a rough life. Troublesome place. Oh. So, Pumperina played very right scared at the ledge there, but Yolio didn't really put any pressure on. Yeah, just the placement of the ball. Uh, very, very good uh, awareness there. It's just DI and Arsene can left. Um, Pupperina, she's getting shield pressure with the um, like up tilts on shield, but when it's gonna push uh, Yolio off the platform of the stage, He's she needs to stop forward smashing and do a short hop down air. Yeah. Uh, on the other side of the shield to push him back into you know onto the platform or onto the stage. Back air. Yolio out Only of jump. jump. Straight to Big stock me one. meaty nair. <laughs> Big meat nair. Yeah, just loft that out there. Uh, the salami stick. Uh, um, so yeah. Yolio knows to kind of get above Pupperina, but he doesn't know how to take advantage of that position. Right. Doesn't seem. Uh, you, know, you, you know. Paparina from the same region as Sombrero. It's going to have a lot of Kirby Ditto experience. Uh, Cali missed another solid Kirby from Mexico. Rolling. I do not support those rolls. Yeah. We're challenging back air like that. All right. Elio so just can't really... Any, on it. Anytime he throws out an aerial, uh, Pupperina works around it and throws out a back air. Yeah. Like I said, she does have very good use of back air. Yeah. She's just, just perfect timing, it. spacing, and Yolio doesn't really know how to uh, work around that yet. Time them out. Nice. All right. Getting some damage in there, showing that uh, he can play the back air game too. Oh, just barely missed. Leo makes back. Oh, hangs on the ledge too long. Gets dash attacked. You got a yeah. DI behind. Yeah. I was gonna say you can't eat that whole forward air. No. Yeah, go over the stage. Do something. All right. Uh, she's low on jumps. So you gotta kind of capitalize on that. Gets the forward smash and a kill. Okay. Yeah, tie game. It, I mean, this is odd for a tie game because it feels like Yolio's been kind of like he yeah, doesn't have his footing, and paparina has been like I'm using yeah. everything with back air. Had an opportunity. As he canceled. Oh, no jumps, but the obstacle down there. Her nice last job there by Yolio. A little late on the two things. Um, neither of them have had clean punishes, but I, I say that Yolio has had better punishes. Paparina's just getting chip damage, and Yolio, when he finally wins the neutral, he is making not the most of it, but he's making a lot more of it than, than yeah. Paparina. Uh, it feels like Yolio has been kind of figuring this out on the fly. It's looking a lot better to close out this game. Uh, getting a lot of drills. Yeah, Pup the confidence that Pupperina had in the neutral early in the game seems a bit gone. She's just having a hard time working around Yolio. Yeah, she hasn't gotten a lot of success in the latter half of this game. Oh, there There's we a go. Forward smash, though. Call out F smash. Great call out. You need something at this point. The game's kind of slipping away. <laughs> Yolio manages to get back. Another dash attack. Should have just got worried about getting on stage there, away from danger. Pulls yeah. back she a little bit too far. Threatened the ledge to kind of force him to go for an iffy recovery. 
Uh, high percent. Low on jumps. Two jumps. Yeah. Doesn't get the ledge. But oh, but works around it. Missed times. We're not able to get back with trade there. She can't survive on these trades. Oh. Looking Yo better. Leo. Racking up damage. Yeah, Yo Leo. Has opportunities, but he's got them. Oh, this could be it. Oh. Oh yeah. Gets Fast run off there. Not a great forward smash oh. there. By and Yo Leo really turned that around uh, halfway through the game. Uh, had some strong punishes, great chases. Free for all. Well, we're not going to see a switch in character, but we may see a switch in strategy. Oh. Yes. Alright. Oh. 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 Take sucks. his powers. <laughs> Take his powers. Six percent. What a what a ripoff. Yeah, really. But you do get like Falcon Punch and Pound. Yeah, yeah, but if you do it on Kirby, it should be like ninety percent. Dude, imagine if, you know, when you press B, like you can decide what you get. Like if you press up B when you release you get the up B, et cetera, et cetera. Can you imagine? I've always wondered about Kirby's uh, inhale absorbing different B moves, like Kirby getting Falcon Kick and yeah. stuff like that. Kirby, oh, Kirby all right. with like Pika Quick Attack. She, uh, she kind of paced away to bait Yo Leo in and then just you know toss out another smash. Arena Great start. Yeah. You need that confidence to start off the game with uh, very low percent stock lead. After clipping with that forward air, you can kind of push advantage a little bit. Uh, uh, but she, she's very, yeah, she's very afraid of those up tilts. Um, even when she has the opportunity to pursue, she's not gonna go after it. Uh, good oh. trade there by Yolio. You just have to cover the ledge at this point, which she doesn't do, <laughs> and yeah. proceeds to take damage instead. I'd like to and see both trades. these players just get back to the stage. Stop. Uh, Trying to counterattack when coming back to the stage when you have no jumps. Um, if Yo Leo capitalized on the situation a little better. Down air to up smash. Up arena has yet to lose a stock. Me. Yeah, looking a lot stronger the second game. But she started out the first game looking pretty strong. And we'll see if uh, Yo Leo can adapt to this new strategy from Pup Arena and uh, kind of yeah, close this gap. She's just these stray back airs anymore. Yeah, she's, she's getting punishes. And makes it back to the stage. Yo Leo's edge guarding is not up to par. At yeah. all. Nice. And his tech options are also up to. Neither of them are really edge guarding cleanly, but. Um, oh, that was a grab waiting to happen. That was a stud still uh, rock. Yeah. yeah, stud still rock there. That's the grab. Just kind of disrupt them, disorient them a little bit. You're already up two stocks and. Your opponent's at a high percentage. You have a chance to bring it to a three-stock lead. Anything you can get is just gravy at this point. Yeah, really. If you get a kill, awesome. Weak back air. So who can make it back here? They're both pretty iffy situations. Like that. I think Paparina could have thrown out a down air, but Yolio lofting out that back air. Takes that first. Uh, that doesn't work, but 96 off the side might do it. No. I think what? Oh. I he think may have he jumped. jumped. Yeah. I, I think the percentages are 10 less than Pika. There's a Yobo moment right there. Yobo. He's still there. He's still there. I haven't seen anything. No Yobo pulls. Oh, think I think she could have gotten an up tilt there. Um, playing it safe. You're up 3 to 1. Yeah, this is. Ooh, and it could oh. be a huge. Go for the down air. That's fine. She over pursued, but. You know, you have an opportunity to just rack up more damage and really put this game away. Uh, and then there's yeah, that F-Smash just from Yo Leo this time. Yeah. That's gonna put in a as a, stock. If a three he, stock by Pupparina. That was an iffy get up attack. Yeah. yeah, great adjustment from Pupparina. And what it really came down to was, you know, like you said, she stopped just getting stray hits and she was she was going in, getting, getting punishes. Some, you know, some hits, some damage, making the most of her neutral wins. Um, it'll be a lot tougher for Yo Leo to make a similar adjustment. Um, he just looked, he looked a little outmatched that switch. second game. Um, that might be enough. Yeah, classic blue versus red. 
red versus blue. Oh, that was a uh, over a pursue there. Mm, not a great dash attack cover though. He was late. Keep them honest. <laughs> oh, okay. The straight, straight back airs here, but it's fine. She got a couple. Um, pretty even percent on either side. Yo, Leo, a little late with that back air. He was in position to counter that forward air. He's just a little late on some of these. Forward smash. Yeah, that up smash there, not, a best, not the best choice by Big Great Great threat, threatening uh, positioning from Yo, Leo. Uh, vibration. Um, yeah, the vibrating. Um, he scared Pupperina and then read her fall and caught her with a back air. It's great edge guarding from Leo. That's what he's gonna need to, um, you know, maybe try to set up. Just uh, you, you gotta drill again, I think. Like, yeah. Just cover the platform. Anytime Kirby pushes off with a forward smash, he's likely to get punished. Pupperina not coming into this game with the same level of confidence man. that she had in the last game. Yo, Leo. Dominating this third game. Yeah, he's up 3 2 now, 4 2, just like yeah. she was in the game before. In this situation, you can't let it get to your head, you know. Uh, you're seeing you're seeing how quickly he can take stock, so you can do the exact same thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, just, uh, it starts here. with one. And Yo Leo is just getting so much mileage from his up tilts on the top flat. Pupperina over pursuing. Up tilt on the top, not going to kill. Lofting oh. forward air, and this is rough. Yeah, four to one. Uh, After a three stop. The, the crazy adaptations back and forth from these two players. Down air to up smash. We'll see if. Uh, Pump Arena really has to. Has she's got to climb. She does. <laughs> this mountain needs to be clump. <laughs> oh, he missed the Z cancel. Could have started an up, up tilt chain. Uh, Yo, Leo going for those up tilts. Uh, Good from Pup Arena to recognize that that's gotten her several times before. Yeah, Yolio can just kind of chill and throw out the stray aerials like Pup Arena was doing in the yeah. first game. He's got. Because um, eventually the trade will work in his favor. Poor, poor positioning from Pup Arena. Yolio just got everything going for him this game. Uh, huge adjustment. Back, the back air. Pumperina playing under Yolio. Just unable to get, you know, up above him. That's going to be a rough one. Oh, good get up on that. Up tilt. Air, up tilt. Got to close out the stock. It's got to start somewhere. You're at 74%. It's going to start there. All right. Pumperina takes two straight. Sustains 70%. Still, still a bit of a mountain. Molehill? No. Oh, yeah. And uh, this is very troublesome. rough positioning. Yolio should really push advantage. He's got an extra stock. Goes for the <laughs> Throws rock. out the rock for the win. And what a wild adjustment from both of these players throughout the set. Really crazy, but Yolio looked much more like himself at the end of that set. Yeah. Strong, confident. Um, more comfortable. Yeah. So. Uh, Next up, we'll have